Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here today with my grandson Talon. How are you Talon? Good. How old are you? I am nine. Talon is nine and Talon gets to visit us in the summertime and when he comes part of the fun is making a pillowcase, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've done it for a long time, haven't we? Yep. Who usually does all the sewing? Grandma. Mostly me, mostly me. But you're nine, and nine is the prime age to start somebody sewing. So Talon has picked fabric for a quilt, and every year it's fun to see what he's going to pick because he had, oh, he had um, like little animals one time. One time he had a soccer balls. One time I just never know what he's going to pick. But guess what he's into this year? What is this? I'm into Harry Potter. Yeah, and he actually read the first Harry Potter book. Isn't that so cool? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So when I first start kids sewing, I generally have them sew on lined paper. And you can use thread or no thread. There is thread on here. But once I know that a, uh, that a child can stay like right on the lines, then I know they have that dexterity to make sure that the fabric stays is going to stay where you want them to. So Talon, we're going to make a pillowcase. So for our pillowcase, what we're going to need is three quarters of a yard or 27 inches of the main body of the fabric, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and cut off this little selvage edge. Now Talon is not going to be doing the cutting. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet, but I'll cut this for you. But Talon is sure going to sew it. So I'm just going to cut off this little edge right here and slide right down there. All right, now for your cuff on your pillowcase, and this is just for a standard bed pillow, a twin size bed pillow, um, you're gonna need nine inches or three quarters of a yard, and he chose this cool yellow to go with that. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, now we do need to cut off our, we wanna make sure this is the same size as our other piece. So I'm gonna lay this on here like this, and then, I'm just going to trim this edge off so it's exactly the same size right here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to iron this in half. So uh, we're going to come over here to the iron and I'm just going to move this little stool back here. Um, we brought Talon a little stool in to stand on and he informed us he was tall enough. He did not need that stool. <laughs> so he's grown from last year too. All right. Talon, can you iron? Um, I don't know how yet. All right. But I'm hoping I will. Well, we have kind of a magic iron right here. Touch, touch this iron right here. Take a hold of the handle. Oh, and the feet go down. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to touch this and we're just going to put it right on this edge right here. Now, the nice thing about this iron is that when you let go, it lifts right up. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So we'll, I'll slide this over and I'll let you do this next part right here. So we're folding this so that the edges are even, just like that. Go ahead, you grab that iron. Now lift it over here and iron that down. We want to make it nice and flat. There you go. Now let's come back here a little bit and catch this edge right here. You did a good job right there. Look how crispy that is. See how nice, see what kind of crease that makes? That just means our fabric's not gonna go anywhere and it's gonna lay a lot nicer. All right, go ahead and grab that iron. Oh, look, he's getting brave. You're doing good, buddy. All right, that is a good job. You're doing a good job ironing. All right, now it's time to put this together and we're gonna open this up but keep our right side to the top. So we know this is the right side because that's the fold. Then uh, we're also going to, and I don't know if I, I might've said this wrong before. This is one quarter yard of fabric, nine inches. And this big piece is three quarters of a yard of fabric and it is 27 inches. All right, so again, this is, this goes right up to the top edge like this and everything facing upward. And then we're gonna roll. So you help me roll. We're going to roll up here like this. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. All right, stop. Now we have to bring this close to us because what we're going to do, let me move this paper. What we're going to do is we are going to make sure all these edges line up exactly. 
And then we're gonna fold this over and pin this, but not catch our fabric in there. So we need some pins. Let me see if I can grab some pins real quick. Here they are. Alrighty, here's my pins. And so what we wanna do is we wanna put a pin in, we wanna stick it in there and do that. All right, can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll start over here on this side. And your pieces are lined up exactly. What's your favorite part about Harry Potter? Um, I like that it's a magic school. Oh yeah, would you like to go to a school like Hogwarts? Mm -hmm. You would? That would be fun, wouldn't it? It would. I bet. All right, let's put a, two more in here. We don't need a ton, but we need it to stay right together. This is actually kind of, this pillowcase has so many names. Lots of grandmas make their kids pillowcases with, with, this, uh, with this pattern. And it's, um, they call it a burrito pillowcase and a sausage pillowcase, all kinds of names. All right, I'm gonna pin this one. Look at you pinning all on your own. Good job, buddy. All right. All right, let me make sure. Oh, okay, now see right here? This has to get all the layers. We have to get all the layers. So we're gonna stick this through all the layers. We, don't, we want, don't want any of those to slide. So your pinning work was fabulous. We just have to catch them all. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and you can come over and get settled on your sewing machine. Talon practiced on his paper so he can stay on the line so I know that he can. Our sewing machine also has a speed control so we're able to slow it down a little bit so that it doesn't race off when you take it. Um, he's up here on my high chair, but there's a pedal down there and he can reach that pedal perfectly. And we are just gonna sew right along this edge. And it doesn't matter if it's a quarter inch or a half an inch, it matters that it's the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this fabric right up along that edge, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna kinda of hold this and help you feed that through and you're gonna push the motor, put your other hand up there and help hold that fabric. And we're just gonna sew, we're gonna sew this whole long thing. Oh, you know what, you are so smart. He took the pin out before he even got there. Yeah, you don't want to sew off a pin. What can happen if you sew over a pin? It, it will break. It could break the needle, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. And that needle could do all kinds of crazy things. Good to be safe. There we go. You think you could go a little bit faster? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. All right, now slow, there you go, perfect. So what's your favorite part when you come to Missouri? Um, I like that most of my family's here. Yeah, you got lots of family here, don't you? Mm-hmm. And who's your favorite family person? Grandma. Grandma? <laughs> Good answer. Wait, what about your dad? And my dad. <laughs> oh, and my dad. Oh, good answer. He knows how to play those cards right. All right, we're staying right along that edge. You're doing so good, buddy. Gosh, you're so much. Last year, the last time I sewed with Talon was last year, and uh, he had to actually sit on my lap last year. And now you're in the chair all by yourself. We might even be able to turn him into a quilter. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want to learn how to make a quilt? Uh -huh. There are a lot of men sewers out there, you know. Your dad is one of them. He has a quilt. Do you remember the name of his quilt? No. Uh, it's called Josh's Star. We'll put a link for that below too so you can go see it. He also actually made up another one called The Blipper. He didn't film that with me, but he, that was his idea. All right, now on your sewing machine, this is a backup button. So I'm gonna push the backup because we want to, we want to make sure that it, um, it sews. There we go. All right, now we're gonna clip this thread right here. And then what I want you to do is see all the fabric is inside there. I need mm -hmm. you to pull that out. Can you pull that all out of there? It can only come out one end. Two people can't really help with this. You just gotta 
pull it like this, get a hold of that roll. See right here on this front part is, there you go, you got it. You're doing it, bud, you're doing it. The nice part about this, all right, now see right here. Look at this, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. So the nice part about doing it this way is first, we've already ironed that nice fold down there, so it's gonna lay down really nice. And there are no seams that show on either side. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So let's iron this again. And we're going to iron where we sewed the seam. So we're gonna kind of push this up like this with our iron. So we're just gonna go up like this. And we'll do this on both sides. So we don't have to go all the way to the top just a little bit along there. So let me slide this over. Let's move our pins. You go ahead and iron that part. So put it down here, uh, no, put it on the fabric like this on this pillow part and then push it up like that. And that will make that part move away from that seam. Alrighty. Now over here, one more, let me scoot it, lift it up. There you go, one more. You got it, buddy. You're doing great. All right, one more. Oh, hang on, lift it up. There we go. Now we're going to do the other side. All right, let go. There it goes. Isn't that a fun iron? Mm -hmm. All right, now see here, this has a little bit of a fold in it. We don't want that. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put it on Harry Potter's face. Push forward. We, we won't leave it there long enough to burn him, just to make him nice and creased. All right, let me move this. And this time we want to go all the way to the edge. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, down on. Yep, and just push it up there. There you go, perfect. Oh, you're doing great. All right, let me slide this over. A little more. Push it up. Awesome. And one more. You got it? All right, let me get, I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna do a shot of, see if I have any steam in here. I don't have any steam in here, but I do like me a shot of steam. All right, now what we're gonna do is we have to sew this closed and make a pillowcase. So we fold it in half like this and we're just gonna line these up and make sure that they match and they should match pretty good. And then line this bottom up. So why don't we sew across this bottom first? Now you can pin this if you want. Do you wanna pin it or do you feel comfortable without pinning? I think we should pin it. Okay, all right, let's do that. Let's just put a couple pins in there to make sure that it holds together. So I'll pin it right here. You know, pinning is one of those things, Talon, that's really personal. Uh, some people like to pin and you always wanna pin so you're pin comes out to the edge, your pin point comes out like this. So you stick it in and put it through there like that. But pinning is super personal because some people love to pin and some people aren't, they don't do a lot of pinning. So, um, and I think that might have a little bit to do with experience as well. All right, now I think we can take this guy out because we're gonna start sewing right there. And we'll just sew right down this edge like this. Okay. Is your chair close enough? Shall we scoot you in a little bit? Here. There we go. Can you reach that pedal? Mm -hmm. All right. So again, right along the edge. Let me take this pin out. There you go. All right. Tell me if you think you can go faster. I think I could go faster. You think you can? You got both hands on there? Mm-hmm. All right, you ready to watch it? Keep it at the edge. All right, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Woo, baby. Tell me if you think it's too fast. You're doing good. All right, now right here, stop. And let's back up right here. So we're gonna back up. We have this little backup stitch. And then this little button makes it go forward. There we go. Now we're going to sew down the side 
And when I sew down the side, I just like to make sure that these two pieces right here are matched exactly, okay? So I'm gonna put a pin right there. And then up here at the top, there it's already sewn. So do you, do you want me to do you want to try no pins or you want to put a few? Maybe like a few. Okay. How many do you think? Like three? Like four. Oh, four. Okay. I love that you have an opinion about your sewing pins. All right. There's four right there. All right. Let's start here and go right down the side. Okay. We got to lower our presser foot. Watch your fingers. Don't let them get too close to that needle. And I will try and hold this up so you can feed it through. All right, now when you want to take a pin out, if you want to stop and let off the foot pedal, you can. And then um, it won't move. You won't have to take your hands off it while it's sewing. Because I like to keep my hands on. Yep, just like that. Perfect. What do you think? You liking this? Mm-hmm. All right. I got a good job going over here. One more. Put that in the pin cushion. All right, stop. All right, now we have a little bit where our seam is a little bit off right there, but we're going to keep sewing because I know I'm going to catch it. So let's just go ahead and sew on right there. All right, now put your hands back up. And we're almost to the end, and let's, let's, let's sew backwards now for a little bit. And then we'll sew forward, and then backwards, oh, and then stop. Whew! Those button things. I, I don't love button sewing, um, but some people love it. They love that their sewing machine has a button you can push, and it'll just go. You don't even need the feet. All right, are you ready to turn this inside out? One of the things I like to do, and this is just a little finishing tip. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it is on these corners right here, I like to trim them off just like this. And then this corner too, so that the corner is crisper. It makes it turn nicer. All right, you ready to turn that right side out? Mm -hmm. Grab all the way up there and grab that. There you go. Look at this, you guys. This is looking really cool. Wait, let's check and see if we match this up. You know what, that's pretty dang good right there. All right, look at this. He did pretty good. Actually, it was me pinning. So. It's pretty good right there. Mm -hmm. Just a hair off, but nobody's going to die over it, are they? Finished is better than perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, do you have a pillow for this? Uh -huh. I think there's one somewhere down here. Oh, he's got it right under there. All right, let's put it in here and see how it works. Do you get to change your, your pillows at home? No, not really. No, not really? <laughs> Well, once your mom sees this video and she sees that you actually know how to change pillows, guess what's going to happen? What? You're going to be doing all the pillows. <laughs> actually, I'm doing this mostly, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I just like to shake them like that. It goes all the way down, and guess what? We made a pillowcase. We made a pillowcase. Look at that. Is it soft enough for you? You want to try your head on there and see if it works? Yes, it is. I think you're going to have some good sleeps while you're here visiting us in Missouri. So uh, have you watched any of my videos? Do, no. do you know how they end? No. Well, how I say them is I say, so today we made a pillowcase and we hope you enjoyed watching this pillowcase tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Can you say that? Mm -hmm. All right. We hope you enjoyed the pillowcase tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Perfect. Thanks everybody for joining us.